Hey, what's up, guys? Master Shiny here, come back with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Steam Summer Sale of 2020. The Steam Summer Sale is coming up pretty quick, and it's going to be here in roughly a half a week to a week. The expected date's around June 25th, but in my eyes, there's three kind of things what you're going to be trying to go for during the Steam Summer Sale. Now, first off, the Steam Summer Sale. It all depends on what Steam games go on sale, because if there's terrible games, no one's going to want to have anything to do with it. But usually, there's good games that are somewhat popular and fairly expensive. It makes a nice summer sale. But I expect this one to be doing pretty well based on the world current events. I think Steam's going to really try and capitalize off of this. Maybe put some nice games in there, like a Red Dead Redemption or a game similar to that. And um, the reason most skins fall in price is because the people quick sell their skins in order to get the games that are on sale. And in my eyes, it's almost like the yearly recession of Steam because for almost a week or two, everything goes down in price, but it usually comes back up because the Steam market and especially CSGO skins have just been growing. Um, what I've noticed is usually... The more expensive skins or knives usually are pretty good because everything usually falls around at least 5%. But the first thing I have is longer term investments. And now these are skins and when I say skins I mean stickers, anything that's from CSGO I refer to as, as a skin. But these are things that are already investments and you're trying to get in on the action for a little bit cheaper than everyone else. Skins like the Norse Collection, St. Mark Collection, things from the Shattered Web, those are all great, great investments. Like the Shattered Web Premium Pass, it started off at $9 and it's almost at $18 right now. It's almost doubled its, doubled its price in such a quick time period. But these are usually very safe and they'll usually amount to some good profit over time. Next up, I've got the shorter term investments, and then usually these fall into the more play skins area. Obviously, you don't want to sell things like this right after the summer sale ends because you're going to end up losing money. Most of these skins don't go down 15% because that's a pretty that'd be a pretty big dip. So you do have to hang on to them for at least a little bit after the sale ends, but usually after roughly a month you can get your money back anytime you want to or if you want to hang on to it it's great but i'm talking about play skins like the ak redline last year it declined 9.4 percent which is very very nice because then you only have to make five percent to get your money back same with the awp asimov that went down 10.2 percent and those are very nice skins as well those are very desirable pretty high demand for them as well and then Lastly, it's not as much as an investment, but I have that you're buying skins for yourself. Now these can overlap with the short term investments. I usually like to pick up a skin or two for myself. Like last year I went ahead and picked up the red line. I bought it for around $10. Right now it's worth roughly $15 and I might as well hang on to it because there's no reason not to. The common skins are usually what I like to pick up because they usually have a lot more stable price and something that's not picked up too often. Like the older collections, if you look at it, like the Dust Collection, they're usually pretty sporadic and you, can, you can't even really spot the Steam Summer Sale because there are so few sold. But that's all I have for today, guys. Hope you have all enjoyed. This is just my thoughts on the Steam Summer Sale. I think it's going to be a pretty good one this year based off the current world events. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.